single sport specialization has become very popular now. It used to be you'd have to live in Florida where you could play football year round. And now in this area, even in the winter, they have indoor leagues, they have all sorts of trainers that work year round. So kids are really dedicating to a single sport at an early age. You know, you see some eight year olds who all they play is soccer. Summer soccer, fall soccer, winter soccer, spring soccer. They just don't get a break. And I can see both sides of it as a parent, you know, you really see that it takes dedication to excel in the sport. And if you play two months in the fall, two months in the spring, it is hard to advance. So I can kind of see the parent perspective and and maybe pushing a child, but there is a physical perspective that is harder because if a growing child's bones and muscles are only working in a certain way, meaning kicking a soccer ball or or throwing a baseball, it really doesn't get a rest. And, and most kids, especially growing a, of, a, of growing age, their bodies can't tolerate that, that much stress. It needs some rest. So playing football in the fall, basketball in the winter, soccer in the spring, you know, you're really working different muscles throughout the year and it limits the risk of injury. And that's, that's the main risk is overuse injuries. And that usually comes from just doing obviously the same thing over and over. And um, I try to caution against it.